in the middle of the Meiji period, when civilization was developing, a man went to the electric company. He complained that even though he paid a lot of money, the lights wouldn't turn on. The company apologized. When the clerk hurried to the house, The light bulb was suspended with a string. This should not be able to turn on. But until then people burned fires as a light, so people couldn't understand electricity coming through wires because fires were their main light source. The electric light company advertised that without matches you can light it and smoke, and soot are not an issue. Even if the wind blows, the light will not turn off. But the electric company did not advertise that wires were needed. This is the electric wire of those days. The wire is insulated by winding it with cotton. Since the technology to process copper has been on for a long time, the electric wire was domestically produced from the beginning. Porcelain was used as an insulator to support the electric wire. So the early insulators were made in Arita and Seto along with bowls and dishes. The problem was that the power gradually weakened while sending electricity. If you try the current of the same strength to thick wire and thin wire as a test, the temperature will rise quickly for thin wires. The thinner the wire is, the greater the resistance, the more power is lost as heat. If you make the wire thick, the resistance decreases and the heat loss decreases, but economically that wasn't beneficial. Because of these heat losses, 210 volt direct current could only supply power to the range of 2 kilometers or 3 kilometers at that time. Thermal power plants were built one after another in the city by many users, but soot, smoke and vibrations coming from the thermal plant started to become a problem, and the technology of power transmission was about to change dramatically. In 1882 the electric pump made an artificial waterfall at the Munich Expo, but this electricity was sent from 57 kilometers away. At this time it was sent at 2000 volt DC, and the power delivered was only 25%. However, at the time of Frankfurt Expo in 1891, 68% of electricity arrived from 175 kilometers away. This was because the alternating current was at a high voltage of 16,000 volts. Since electric power is a voltage multiplied by the current, the voltage can be increased to send a large amount of electric power. An electric current generates heat, so if you increase the voltage, a lot of power can be sent with a small loss. A large generator is necessary to increase the voltage with direct current, but in the case of alternating voltage, the voltage can be changed by the transformer. With the invention of a transformer in this way, the alternating current became the main part of electric power transport.
and Osaka's water irrigates 7,000 high Osaka plains with water of an Awashiro lake. The new Megami power station, which uses the water between Osaka and Inawashiro, is the first long-distance electricity transmission in Japan in 1899. The 2000 alternating volts released here were increased to 11,000 volts depending on the month, and sent to the city of Karayama 24 kilometers away. This is a modern insulator, but at that time the ones made in the USA were used because it was the first time to send high voltage. Naked copper twisted with domestic products was used to make electric wires. Foreign studies had found that there was no insulation effect when cotton was wounded to high voltage. Because snow and rain are hard to pass electricity, the naked wires were okay. The transmission tower was made of wood. The first electric transmission tower in Japan was built in 1901 between the Hakan and Yokohama transmission lines. An American engineer instructed and built it. But since the ground of Japan was soft, later half of the number of towers collapsed at the time of the typhoon because they were just steel frames filled with soil. After that the power transmission towers were solidified with concrete. Although the transmission voltage of Hakan hydropower was still high voltage of 35,000 volts, the domestic high-pressure insulators were used for the first time by an engineer, raising a score that surpasses that of a foreign product. In 1911 in Awashiro appears again in the history of transmission. There was an idea of electricity generation using this water, which was 500 meters high, and the volume was 500 million tons, but there was not much electricity demand locally. and there were too many heat losses to send to Tokyo. So many times the idea failed. One thing that solved this problem is the suspension insulator. As the voltage increases, current leaks or arc occurs on the surface of the insulator, but suspension pendulum is made to withstand high voltage by lengthening the leakage distance of the current by the fold. Moreover, since it can be used as many as being connected, it can cope with high voltage. Another is a breaker. When using a conventional circuit breaker at high voltage, even when the switch was turned off, a mark was generated and it was impossible to cut off the current. So we pulled away the contacts and insulating oil so that the park was extinguished. With these inventions, long-distance power transmission with high voltage of 110,000 volts was started in Germany, America, Canada around 1910. As soon as this news came, the government started to move and the construction of the Inawashira hydropower station started.
because it is a totally inexperienced high voltage of 110,000 volts, all foreign products were used except for electric wires. Engineers thought that they should cultivate domestic technology at this time, but some engineers resented that they wanted the managements to use domestic products even at least insulators as the managements adopted safe foreign products. With high voltage there is little loss due to heat, but corona discharge that electricity escapes into the air occurs. This not only is a loss of power, but also causes noise on the telegraph line. In order to prevent electromagnetic interference and electric shock, the height of the transmission line was decided to be over 7 meters. Since there were no helicopters at that time, heavy materials were carried up by the people. The transmission tower was built after it was assembled on the ground. It was 226 kilometers from Inawashiro to Tokyo. 1435 towers were built within this distance, and design and manufacturing were done in Japan. The steel towers at the time are still in use. Since the towers pass through a region with a lot of lightning, devices to protect insulators and electric wires from lightning are also attached, In a place where the distance between the steel towers was wide, a special steel tower which was strong against tension was set up, and ingenuity was also taken to prevent shaking of the power transmission line. In this way, the power generated by the water of Lake Inawashiro in 1915 was sent to Tokyo with the world highest voltage of 116,000 volts at that time. Although a lot of foreign products were used, the world was surprised that this business was accomplished with Japanese people. Until recently, those who protected the transmission lines stayed in the hut or cabin in the mountains and continued walking around the area they were dealing with every day. Transmission lines that send massive amounts of energy to the city in a blink of an eye were supported by the work of these unknown people. With the success of an Awashira hydroelectric ultra-high voltage transmission, the power grid has been formed nationwide. Meanwhile, scientific engineers desperately tried hard and pushed Japan's electricity transmission technology to the world's top level. Today, the various areas are able to interchange power with each other. And now, the construction of an ultra-high voltage transmission network of 500,000 volts is proceeding throughout the country. A light and durable aluminum stranded wire with steel core. Super high voltage insulator made of the finest porcelain.
6 Conductor R4 Conductor System to Prevent Corona Discharge A formula unique to Japan was also created for the construction of a transmission tower. The aorta of electric energy are spread through the fields and mountains. Here, the sweat and efforts of many people who have been in existence for 90 years since the Meiji era are put in.